Good morning, I'm so happy to see you again. It's day three of Leap to Lead, and I can tell you, your participation and your enthusiasm uh, about this program is so energizing to me. I feel like I'm getting a fresh start with my business because I'm doing these activities right along with you, and as much as I would love to tell you that I was on my A game and already had these assignments done in my past, it's not truth. I need to go in and fill in those boxes. I need to um, build this foundation. You guys are so lucky that you are taking advantage of a learning opportunity so early in your Sensi journey. This will really, like I said, build a foundation for you and your business, and I'm so excited. Um, today, we're talking about building a list of 100 people. Don't let that intimidate you, the number 100. Let me tell you about the bad advice I used to give people when they would join my team. I'd say, you know, since he tells you to um, create a list of 100, but that's a lot. So maybe if we could just go for 50. You guys, I can't believe that came out of my mouth. I'm sorry. It's not okay. <laughs> that was maybe my own insecurity. Like, I can't think of 100 people, so why should anybody else think of 100 people? No, I can think of 100 people. Um, I just wasn't trying hard. Okay, so let me talk to you about the importance of a list of 100. It basically gives you direction. It writes down your, your customers, your potential customers, your potential team members, and it keeps them organized in one spot. And it's going to be a forever changing and evolving list. My list that I used to have is totally different than from a few months ago. Do you know why? Because a lot of those customers have joined the team. And a lot of those customers have had family members or very close friends join the team. You guys, that could get me down. A lot of consultants think, oh, I don't want people to join because it would wreck my business or I would lose customers. No, no, no. Um, I love it when you guys join me because that forces me to move on and expand and get creative and it challenges me. Um, also, it creates, it, um, creates me to find new contacts and then through them, I meet more people. This business is a beautiful thing because you get to build relationships with people. I have loved that part of it, the people aspect. So enough of my jibber jabber. Let's talk about your list of 100. You've got your notebook, remember yesterday? So day one, we labeled 10 catalogs and we um, got some samples or testers ready. Day two, we wrote our list and your list made me so happy. Day three, we're gonna make our list of 100. We're gonna talk about the Franks today. Franks, categorize your groups of people. Categorize them, it'll help you. So let's talk about your friends. Think about your friends in your life. Hey, if you have only one or two, that's kinda, I mean, that's okay. If may, Some people have 30 friends, it's all good. Think about your friends, your close friends who you know you could call up and be like, guess what? Oh, two phones. Guess what? I joined Sensi and I'm so excited. You've got to come over and smell these testers with me. Those are the kind of people that you would list in your friends. People who you can just genuinely share your excitement with. Okay, write down your friends. How about your relatives? Mom, dad, aunts, uncles, cousins second cousins think about your relatives then if you're married what about their relatives what about the in-law like people who married into the family what about the you know that's a whole nother section that you can write down relatives how about the a in frank's associates people you know from activities i took two there associates and activities we go to activities how, what are you in the church choir do you your kids go to youth group, do they go to soccer, do they go to wrestling, how about dance class? When I go with my kids to activities now, um, I do a lot of my tedious work there. Like I'll fold, I'll fold my flyers or I'll write postcards, you know, and if people want to visit with me, I'll be like, oh yeah, my team did so amazing this month. I'm letting them all know right now that they were in the top sales spot. You know, it creates conversations and you know, you're using your fringe time, they call it, um, wisely for your business. But think about the people that you run into at those activities and, um, and just different places you go around town and spend your time. Church, work, whatever. Um, work is another one. 
my husband just had a job change and I had customers at his former place of employment. I need to make sure that I'm writing them down because those are people I met through work. I used to teach over at school. I know people through my former workplace, okay? Um, my husband's jobs. I need to keep track of those people on paper so that I remember to follow up with them and to keep them informed about new things going on. Um, yeah, so activities, associates, work, play. People you know from out there. How about your neighbors? People who live around you. Write them down. And then there's kid connections. People you know through your kids. Not all of us have kids. But think about it. I have five. But um, who do you know because you have kids? Maybe your kids play together. I still have a sick kid at home. It is so good. You can have one more piece. Anyways. Um, so yeah. And you're going to continue to meet people along the way. You're going to meet people at parties that you've never met before. You're going to want to add them to your list. One time I met somebody through adoption. I've never met her in person, but we met online. We had a Sensi fundraiser for her. One of the customers at the Sensi fundraiser was named Loretta. Now, Loretta ordered from the party to support her friend. Loretta and I have never met in person, but we continued a relationship. Loretta became one of my list somebody on my customer list. We kept in touch. And you know what? Loretta decided that maybe she would like to be a part of the Sensi opportunity. Yay! Guess whose team she's on and rocking it up? Go Loretta! It's pretty awesome. So you just never know where your list will take you. You never know who's going to be your next host or customer. Um, and if you lose some people off the list due to them joining or um, or maybe somebody really close to them join and you feel like, oh, they should probably be a customer over there. That's fine. Keep building your list. Keep growing. Because people know more people. You're building people. You're building networks. Um, and it can be a beautiful thing. I've met some amazing people through this job. Through home parties, online parties. You just make connections that you don't forget. And um, that really enhance and bless you. So um, I just... Get your list of 100 done. I'm gonna do the same. I'm gonna update it. I'm gonna go by this Frank's friends, relatives, associates, people you know from activities, neighbors, and kid connections. You can do it. Take a picture of your list and post it below. Bye guys, have a great day.